Trump's criminal paperwork, the former president, that case continuing to be muddled, the falsifying business records case in New York. Judge Juan Mershon refusing for a third time to step aside in the case as the former president attempts to delay sentencing until after the election. And as his presidential immunity in this case specifically remaining up in the air, if you will, new details about just how close Judge Mershon's daughter is to Trump's presidential opponent are emerging. Newsmax correspondent Christina Thompson joins us live from Lower Manhattan at the courthouse where all of this is unfolding. Christina, good morning. Good morning. Well, it turns out that Judge Juan Mershon's daughter had a working relationship with Vice President and presidential opponent to Donald Trump, Kamala Harris. Lauren Mershon met VP Harris on several occasions in 2019. That's according to her employer, Mike Nellis, the owner of Authentic Campaigns Consulting Firm, where she does work. Now, in a letter he wrote to U.S. House Judiciary Committee Chairman Representative Jim Jordan, Nellis says that Lauren Mershon never developed an individual relationship with her and that, quote, it is unfortunate and disappointing that the committee appears to be villainizing Ms. Mershon the daughter of Judge Juan Mershon, who presided at Donald Trump's legal proceedings in New York. Now, despite Lauren Mershon helping to raise more than $90 million in campaign donations for two major Democratic clients of hers, while using the case in their solicitation emails, a state court ethics panel has said that Mershon could continue as the judge on Trump's case. Lauren's employer, though, is distancing themselves, writing on X, quote, over the last year and a half, our agency, Authentic Campaigns, has been targeted by a baseless conspiracy theory that suggests our company is somehow involved in the Donald Trump fraud trial in New York. The accusations against us are absurd and completely false. Now, we are still waiting to hear what the court decides as it relates to Donald Trump's immunity claim. Sean Emma. All right, Christina Thompson, live downtown for us in New York City. Christina, thank you.